Hello once again, this is the Pencrest High School AP Physics 1 video series. This is video 8G, uh, the Doppler effect. Uh, the Doppler effect refers to a change in the apparent wavelength and frequency of waves uh, due to the motion of the source of the waves. Uh, we're all familiar with this phenomenon, particularly as it pertains to sound waves. Uh, consider an ambulance siren uh, when the ambulance comes up behind you. Um, as the ambulance passes, uh, because you pull over like you're supposed to, uh, the siren's frequency noticeably decreases. Um, you might also recall uh, a demonstration really, really early in your ninth grade year uh, conducted by your environmental science teacher, certainly if it was Samalenko. Um, <clears throat> Everybody seems to remember this demonstration because he drags you out and makes you stand next to Barron Road um, and then drives his car past while he's honking the horn. Um, the demonstration was used to reference the, the evidence for the Big Bang Theory, which is primarily um, attributed to the Doppler effect uh, as it pertains to light waves. Uh, so it's a bit of a stretch, but... Um, <clears throat> We will focus on sound waves here and we'll look at uh, quantification of the Doppler effect. <clears throat> so, uh, first and foremost, when a source of sound waves is moving, it doesn't have any effect on the wave speed. Um, sound waves move away from the source in a spherical pattern, uh, just as they would uh, if the source were stationary. Uh, so. The, the motion of the source doesn't have any effect on the wave speed. Uh, this ambulance in the diagram is moving left to right. Uh, as the sound waves move away from the ambulance, uh, the apparent wavelength and frequency for the two observers, there's one behind the ambulance and one in front. Um, the observer in front of the ambulance perceives a higher frequency than actual because the apparent wavelength is shorter. You can see as the ambulance moves left to right, these wavelengths here in front of the ambulance are closer together than they would be if the ambulance were standing still. Um, <clears throat> so because the wave speed is not affected and V equals F times lambda, since V is still the speed of sound, when the apparent wavelength decreases as it does for this observer in front, where the ambulance is approaching, <clears throat> the apparent wavelength decreases and the apparent frequency must then increase. So the perception, the apparent frequency heard by this person is higher than the actual siren's frequency. The observer behind the ambulance perceives a lower frequency because the waves are stretched out. You can see here behind the ambulance the wavelengths are uh, greater than they would be if the ambulance were standing still. Uh, and again, because V equals F lambda and the V is unaffected, the wavelength increases, so the apparent frequency must then decrease. So in contrast here, this person hears a higher frequency than actual. This person hears a lower frequency than actual. Uh, in terms of uh, quantification, in the case of an approaching wave source, this F prime is the apparent frequency perceived by the observer. F is the actual frequency of the sound. Um, and we have in the denominator here 1 minus Vs over V. Uh, Vs is the velocity of the source, not the velocity of sound. This in the um, denominator here, this is the velocity of the waves. So this would be the speed of sound. For the receding source, if it's moving away from you, looks very similar. F prime is the uh, receding apparent frequency, we have 1 plus Vs over V in the denominator. So again, F prime is the uh, apparent frequency, uh, F is the actual frequency, V sub S is the velocity of the source, V is the velocity of the waves, in this case the velocity of sound. Um, you can see that uh, in this case the denominator of the approaching source is less than 1, which means the approaching apparent frequency would be greater than F. In this case, the denominator is greater than 1, makes this uh, receding apparent frequency uh, less than actual. 
Okay, that's the Doppler effect, and that's it for waves. Uh, next up is electricity, electrostatics, and DC circuits. Until then, enjoy. See you again next time.